Okay, let's take a look at using the calculator to do these problems. Now when it's the less than or less than or equal to, same idea in all, uh, any of those type. Uh, you got this button right here. If I click that, then I can put negative 1.22 in here. And press enter. And that gives us 0 0.111, three decimal places. 0 0.111. Now, when you have a greater than or greater than or equal to case, you put your one in first. Let me uh, move that up. You do your one minus, and then you do your probability. And we'll put in uh, 1.61 in that one. So the greater than gets rewritten as one minus probability of less than. And press enter, and it's three decimal places, 0 0.05. Uh, four. Now the between case. We're going to have the probability of 2.14. I'll do a right arrow key to put it on the outside of the parentheses minus the probability of negative 0 0.37. Press enter and that gives us 0 0.628. I'll go ahead and check it. One thing I will mention is um, at least the test I looked at uh, did not have the use of the calculator. So I would not rely on this completely. I'd know how to use it uh, to do these problems using a different uh, technology like Google Sheets or um, how to do it uh, using the tables. Um, you can check with your individual instructor to see if uh, that particular test uh, allows you to use a calculator because that could, that could always change. But that's how you use Alex Calculator to do those um, standard normal problems. And that's specifically where you have Z. And that covers our less than case, our greater than case, and our between case.